After entering the cytoplasm of a CD4 cell, the uncoating of the viral core then occurs. The matrix core disintegrates, releasing the capsid with the HIV genetic material and associated enzymes into the host cell. The capsid then sheds its coat. The two viral RNA strands, which are coated, and the viral enzymes are then released into the cytoplasm. This now leads to the activation of the reverse transcriptase enzyme. The conversion of viral RNA into single-stranded DNA can now begin. The reverse transcriptase, or RT, now moves along the HIV RNA molecule and copies it into viral DNA through the incorporation of naturally occurring nucleosides. The nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, or NRTIs, compete with naturally occurring nucleosides to prevent their incorporation into viral DNA, and this in turn prevents reverse transcription. The reverse transcriptase enzyme embeds the NRTI nucleoside analog, or inhibitor, into the synthesized molecule of DNA. As a consequence, natural nucleosides can no longer be added to the growing viral DNA chain which is thereby terminated. Hence, this process is called chain termination. Consequently, the completion of reverse transcription cannot take place. Hence, the HIV DNA is not fully formed and cannot be incorporated into the DNA of the host cell.